My name is Declan Barton and I play for the Bedford Bison. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. The festive season is well and truly underway and the Bison had a double header of home matches to enjoy, beginning with the visit of the Peterborough Phantoms. The last time they clashed in Hampshire, it turned into one of the most memorable nights for many supporters. But perhaps keen to make it another one, the Bison took the early lead on the power play. Kieran Long shot from the blue line neatly tips home by Doug Shepherd to get the home crowd out on their feet early on. Yanis Orzins proved himself popular with the herd faithful last time out. And he seemed to make sure he would do the same this time around. A light coming together with Michael Wales resulting in the Latvian finding a slippy patch of the ice and falling to the floor. Perhaps the biggest surprise, Wales collecting a penalty for his troubles. It gave the visitors a 5 on 3 power play and they made no mistake with the opportunity to bring the scores level. Doris Pliskowskis creating the space on the point to fire past Dean Skins to make it one apiece. And it would get worse for the herd soon after, as Alan Lack sniffing around the net brought its rewards, with the Phantoms taking the lead. The puck somehow coming free in the crease, with Lack's alertness ensuring a first period lead for the visitors. If the Bison hoped the second would bring them a change of fortunes, they would be mistaken. A flowing Phantoms move eventually seeing Tom Norton bundle the puck over the line. Again alertness on the goal crease, bringing rewards for the visitors. Surprise call came next with Cam McGiffin just collecting a two minute call for boarding. Grant Rounding feeling more of the force from behind than expected. Although he was able to make his way off under his own steam. Soon it would be a 5 on 3 power play for the Bison and the host would take full advantage. A simple setup seeing Thomas Karpov fire into the net and reduce the deficit back to 1, helped by the perfect screen at the net. However, it would be the Bison's turn to fall into penalty trouble soon after, and once again the visitors would step up to the plate. James Ferrara being given time at the net and picking a spot with ease to make it a two-goal lead at the turn. The Bison defence would hold firm at the start of the third. Miroslav Van Trober and Ricky Skeen combining to deny the Phantoms, but it would be the former Peter Roman who would pick up the penalty, and with it frustration as a 10 minute misconduct went his way. The 
Bison have tried to find a way through, but were still taking on pressure in their own zone. Fish were flying between the guys, Mason Webster and Van Trober coming to blows. And somewhere amongst all of this, Van Trober collected a match penalty for butt ending. Maybe our excellent replays can help clear this one up. No, thought not. It didn't change the scoreline though. The Phantoms taking the two points, four to two.